Having lived in Laguna Beach, I have a lot of appreciation for it. It's beautiful. And today we have somebody who has a totally different perspective on it and some beautiful photos to go with it. Rich German is here. How are you, my friend? Good, man. Happy to be here. Well, um, Thank you. we're so happy to have you. Yeah, we, we, we kind of thumbed through your book a little bit before we started here. And uh, amazing. Looks like you've got some, some amazing experiences. And tell us a little bit about kind of what you do and what brought you here. And Yeah, so a lot of effort went into that book, actually. I started paddleboarding about 10 years ago, right off the course, uh, coast of North Laguna. And uh, it's interesting, when I first started paddling, it at first was just a different perspective of seeing Laguna Beach, because we all see Laguna Beach from the shore looking out to the ocean, but all of a sudden I was on the ocean looking back at the coastline, I'm like, wow, it's just, it's just stunningly beautiful. It takes and, you out of your element a little bit. Yeah, right? it's a yeah. different perspective. And then the more I would paddle, I kept seeing uh, the beginning pods of dolphins. I'm like, wow, this is cool. And as someone that likes to capture moments, I started to bring a camera out there and I would take little still shots and then over time I got fancier and I got a GoPro and I put it on my hat and I start filming video. So at the beginning it was basically just following dolphins up and down the coast and then um, one day I looked way out to the horizon and I saw these massive spouts and I was like, there's something big out there. And my curiosity got the best of me, so I paddled straight out. Wow. And I found out the next day I was about two miles offshore, and um, there was blue whales, which are the largest animal that have ever lived on the planet. They're about 100 feet long. They're much bigger than the studio. Wow. And I found myself in the presence of two 100-foot whales. And it just blew my mind that I could get on my board, paddle like 45 minutes out, and be in the presence of these animals. And from then on, I've been totally hooked. And what I didn't know when I started paddling 10 years ago is that right off the coast of Laguna Beach, we have more species of dolphins and whales than pretty much anywhere on the entire planet. Hmm. So we have bottlenose dolphins that live in Laguna Beach. They're local. They just kind of cruise up and down the coast all day. Yeah. We have common dolphins that are a little farther offshore. Same thing, they're year round in Laguna Beach. Uh, in the colder months, like now, we have Pacific white-sided dolphins that I absolutely love. There's a chapter about them in the book. They come to town. Um, and then whales, right now, we're in the middle of the gray whale migration. Mm -hmm. They are heading south for the most part still, and then pretty soon we'll start heading back north with their babies. So we have gray whales, blue whales that I mentioned, orcas every now and then will make an appearance, humpback whales. It's, it's just like, uh, I call it the world's greatest aquarium right off the coast of Laguna Beach. And obviously yeah. these are wild animals and getting to be with them in their natural environment for me is just a How do they joy. react to you? Do they respond? Do they play? Do they... They're super care? inquisitive. <laughs> um, dolphins are like... To me, dolphins represent just pure joy. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever been on the water, either on a boat or on a paddleboard or whatever, I mean, they just are super curious. They will come right up to you. Yeah. Like, I'm just out there paddling, and all of a sudden, they'll just come up, and they'll literally come right under my board. They'll turn and they'll look <laughs> at me. They love the interaction. Wow. Uh, whales are a very different type of energy. They're just very powerful. They're typically not as playful as dolphins are. Well, dolphins hard to are move the bigger bodies. They're yeah. a little bigger, but they, they move and, and they're sometimes very inquisitive also. I mean, they'll come right up also. So it's just, it's funny because I've, I've probably, I've calculated in about probably the next 12 to 18 months, I will have paddleboarded the circumference of the entire planet, which is about 24,901 miles, I think. Don't quote me on that one. Wow. So I'm almost the entire planet but have done it all right in Laguna Beach, so basically That's cruising amazing. up and down the coast. That's amazing. So you spent enough time out there, you're going to see some cool stuff. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. So when you, the first time that you went out and experienced like being on a paddleboard, uh -huh. uh, was it instant, just a, a love affair? Like? Okay, so this is funny that you brought that up. Um, I've always been athletic my whole life, but for some reason when you take me off of my feet, I'm no good. Like I'm to this day, I'm horrible at skiing or um, snowboarding. I just, I just can't do it. So when people started ten years ago, paddleboarding just started taking mm -hmm. off as yeah. a as a thing, and I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. You know, I, I, it's just <laughs> not going to work. And one day, my buddy was like, Come on, let's try this. 
I hopped on a board and I never fell off. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is cool. So wow. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. kind of what led me to do it basically every day. And it's really, be, for me, it's so many things. It's, it's exercise, mm -hmm. it's meditation, it's my way of communing with nature. And then to get out there with the dolphins and whales is just like, becomes kind of an otherworldly experience for me. Yeah. Do you go out with a group or, or is it, do you Sometimes. kind of ride solo? I, honestly, I prefer to go out there alone. Yeah. It's just kind of my own private time. I never bring my phone out there. It's just yeah. me. Nobody solitude. can reach me. It's, it's, yeah, it's nice solitude. We don't get a lot of that no, like in today's society. No. <laughs> no you we're kind so of have connected. to leave the coast to get it. I, yeah. I totally get that. And I've been following you on Facebook for years. We've been connected through a variety of mutual friends, mm. but... Um, but never connected one on one until today. Mm -hmm. And so, my watching this evolution and watching the stories that you tell of the different encounters that you've had, and then your photography is spectacular. So, you're a photographer, you're a conservationist, you're a, a super paddle boarder. And oh, I appreciate that. What's interesting is that for years, people always said, Oh, your photos are cool, you should make a book. And I always resisted. Mm -hmm. I was like, No. If I make a book, then I'm selling it, and now it becomes a business. And it's like, like you're saying, that solitude and that, mm -hmm. you know, it's basically my church, my sanctuary. I don't yeah. want to commingle that with business. Yeah. And then what happened was uh, a little over five years ago now, I had a, an encounter with a pod of four orcas a couple miles off the coast. And that video that I shot of these orcas literally coming right under my board went like insanely viral all around the world. And not only was it cool that so many people got to see it, but a lot of ocean organizations, organizations that I would have wanted to reach out to and connect mm -hmm. with, contacted me. That's And great. they featured the story. And, and that was my impetus to like, okay, wait, there's something more here than just this cool hobby. And from that, I said, I created the book and mm -hmm. now I'm working on some ocean projects and trying to not just raise awareness, and it's. I love you know that you find joy in seeing my totally. experiences out there. And, and I like, know I'm not alone. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And it's like, well, how do we take that to the next level? Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing to raise awareness. Um, there's the great quote that we protect what we love. So for me, the more people that see what's out there, the more hopefully we'll step up and protect not only the animals, but the ocean in general. Um, we could get into a long, you know, talk here about just what's going on with the environment and the ocean. So yeah. anything, any role I can play in helping to protect the animals and just the ocean in general, that's what I'm all about. Well, from our perspective, in keeping with the theme of our Valentine's and all things love show, I couldn't think of anyone better to come <laughs> in and talk about loving Mother Earth oh. and showing a different way of loving Mother Earth, of really respecting what's going on and and paying attention to a different perspective. I love that you say that because I think most media, news, obviously, it's, it's so fear-based, mm -hmm. and they just try to scare the you-know-what out of us. And I get there's a power in fear, and maybe it awakens people a little bit, but I just much prefer to come from a place of love yeah. and, like, look at this, look at the beauty. Like, it's our responsibility to protect Mother Earth, Mother Ocean, and the sacred life that lives in it. I think we, we lose sight of that, too, because we're so busy, we're so connected, everything is so electronic, and you're yeah. getting so much information all the time yeah. that to just take a step back and, and appreciate something that's organic and natural mm. and just is. And is right here. Mm -hmm. And is right here. Right yeah. here. I appreciate you guys saying that because yeah. I just kind of do what I do. Like yeah. I'm out there paddling every day. I was this morning, and if I see some cool stuff, I'll photograph it, videotape it, and then I'll share it. Like that's pretty much it. So yeah. to get that feedback is, is kind of yeah. cool. No, Thank I you. think more people are watching than you know, and mm. we're very happy to share you with them. So how could somebody find you or find the book? How do you like people to follow? Yeah. So if you want to follow me on social media, just pull up my name, Rich German. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram is the main place that I'm posting things mm -hmm. on a pretty regular basis. My main website is just richgerman.com. It looks like German, but it's pronounced German, richgerman.com. You can buy the book. And I donate 100% of the proceeds to support um, and protect the ocean, by the way. Wow. I don't make any money off this book. Amazing. That's Thank great. you so much for coming in to share oh, with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Really excited for our viewers to, viewers to hear we from We should you. get out on the water. Let's yeah. go hop on a boat someday and uh, do this for real. I've never paddleboarded. I'd <laughs> love to experience Neither it. Neither have I. I've... I'm a it's, little terrified for the... We'll put you on a boat. I will fall off. We'll get you on a boat. It'll be safe. <laughs> We're in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank we'll you, Rich. We'll do it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy Valentine's. We'll be right back.
Thank you.